Yeah, I want to get to the hearings also that happened on Capitol Hill today. This is uh, big. There have been a lot of hearings this week, but the Norfolk Southern CEO, no one's seen uh, until today, actually testified about the East Palestine train derailments and the environmental disaster mm -hmm. that has followed. Take a look. I want to begin today by expressing how deeply sorry I am for the impact this derailment has had on the residents of East Palestine and the surrounding communities. I've been to East Palestine many times over the past month. I've talked with the leaders, the business owners, the school officials, the clergy, and others throughout the community. They've shared their stories and their concerns about the health of their families and the future of the community they love. I am determined to make this right. Hmm. Well, I don't know, because as that was happening, believe it or not, a Norfolk Southern train had just derailed Miranda mm. in Alabama, my sweet home. You really can't make this stuff up. No, I mean, this is what, is this the third, correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, is this the third derailment that they've had like in the past month, right? Might be yeah. Well, that have hit the headlines, yes, but who knows how many we're not hearing about. There's supposedly four on average per day. Per day. Yeah, and I know, um, you know, a, a number of people from this network, Ben Barquam uh, being among them, and also John Fredericks, um, who's a host here on this network, they, they went to East Palestine, and we all saw the video, right, where they're having mm -hmm. the town halls. A and where was he? I know he's saying he met with some of the community members, mm -hmm. but uh, they were saying he was a no-show. Right. He didn't go to the town hall. And just by the way, uh, either his President Biden still hasn't gone. 